In this video, I want to show how we can make our Java E applications more resilient by using the MicroProfile Fault Tolerance project. So this project defines a few resiliency concerns, such as uh, timeouts or circuit breakers, um, retries, that we add on top of our enterprise Java applications and implement these concerns. So the nice story is if we use an application server that not only supports Java E, but also MicroProfile, I use OpenLiberty in my case, we can actually um, add this API, the fault tolerance API, as a provided dependency, and it's already being shipped, already being supported. So in my case, with my instrument craft shop example application, that is this application for all of the resiliency concerns, I use or I have a MakerBot gateway class that is basically an HTTP client that calls my MakerBot backend. So with this method, print, in, uh, print instrument, there's a lot of things that might go wrong, right? Many exceptions uh, might occur here. So we want to make this more resilient to not crash the overall application. So what we could do, for example, is define an interceptor, right? That calls this, um, um, this execution intercepts the execution and might return something else or might handle an error situation. Similarly, we can use the microprofile circuit breaker annotation. So that defines a circuit breaker that might uh, be tripped on so and so many failed um, executions and failed means um, executions that throw an exception. And then we can actually specify and configure that annotation when exactly it uh, fails after so and so many executions and how long it will take until the open uh, circuit will be closed again. So then actually, if the circuit is open, open and the uh, method is executed, then we immediately get an exception, unless we specify, for example, a fallback. So the fallback annotation specifies a fallback mechanism that then is being used automatically. For example, the default fallback that basically does nothing. Or we specify an um, explicit fallback handler that does then something sophisticated depending on our use case, or even a fallback method that resides within the same class and of course has to have the same signature as our print instrument method and then will be executed in this case. What else we can specify is a retry uh, mechanism so that we automatically retry this method if it failed. For example, if we actually talk to a legacy backend that always fails. So we, let's say, talk to it three times um, before we actually handle the case that it, um, that it failed um, ultimately. So that is all also being added, being supported out of the box. We can use this using the um, at, uh, re uh, retry annotation. And these are the, um, from my uh, opinion, most, um, most interesting uh, concerns in most helpful concerns in the micro profile project and you can use this project if you use an application server that supports the micro profile specifications and in, um, in my opinion it makes a lot of sense to use an application server that both supports the java e apis the well-known apis um, such as jaxrs ejb cdi GP, uh, jpa whatever you might need in the project plus something that supports micro profile. So can, you can use these um, new APIs, these uh, further, uh, further uh, functionalities to enhance your application. And in this case, make it more resilient. Thank you for watching.